Well, two big name injuries to come out of State of Origin Game 2 in Perth on Sunday evening. Cameron Munster has done a shoulder injury and Payne Haas a high ankle injury. Both players will need to wait for scans uh, to determine the severity, but at the very least, you'd expect they're going to be racing the clock for Game 3. Uh, Munster sounds like an AC joint injury. Uh, he didn't sound too bad at the press conference last night, but will, as I said, await scans. Uh, Queensland officials uh, reportedly privately a bit concerned about his future. Uh, uh, not future, but certainly the next couple of weeks and ability to play Game 3. The Storm will also sweat on his future. Uh, while Payne Haas has reportedly done a syndesmosis injury, depending on the grade of that, he could be out from anywhere for a couple of weeks up to 10 weeks. Uh, obviously, the Broncos will be majorly concerned about that, and there'll be more news to come excuse me, later in the week on those two. But if they're out, you know, you need to look at um, potential replacements. Certainly from Munster's point of view, Tom Dearden's been in the squad for the opening two games and is likely to come straight in at 5'8", uh, while Haas uh, is likely to be replaced by one of the Eels props that were dropped for this game being, of course, Ryan Madison or Regan Campbell-Gillard. Although there is the alternative of bringing Jordan McLean into the squad, uh, or into the starting 17 rafter, rather, after he was named in the squad for Game 2 and, and in camp with the Blues there. So, a couple of options for New South Wales to replace Haas. Only one realistic option to replace Munster, unless, of course, Queensland go to Ben Hunt in the halves uh, to play alongside Sherry Evans. It would take away some of that spark, so really difficult situation ahead of Queensland if Munster is out, and, and given his form, it becomes even more difficult and, and almost an impossibility to replace.